We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy Big Squiggums, and we're diving back on into Final Fantasy Remaster of the Pixel Variety or Pixel Remaster. Two or Final Fantasy Two Pixel Re I don't know. There's stuff involved, guys and gals. You know the score ish. And we had two choices. I think I chose the maybe the right way, maybe the wrong way. I don't know. But now we're going to where I think the wrong way is, and we're gonna see if that leads to the to a dead end or I don't know. Fire leveled up though, that's good. Seems to be our one spell that we can utilize. So we made it basically to here, and then I opted out. I was like, nope. Oh, I did not do much to the Lamia. The Lamia! Alright. Let's get to holy... Okay, um, let's get to hustling. That was a lot of vampire ladies and girls. Resist the charm! Resist the charm! I've got popcorn, folks. I'm ready to eat some popcorn if I if I feel like it. <clears throat> Alright, just drinking a little bit of <clears throat> agua, a little bit of water there. Uh, make sure I stay hydrated. Alright, so we didn't decide to do this before. Oh, I'm an idiot because I did look in here, I think. And I didn't realize that this literally just had a box of the... Uh, I'm such a moron. I kind of was like, I don't know if we should go this way. This seems kind of like maybe this is the right way to go. I didn't even look. I think I looked at the map, but I didn't really look at the map. I was like, ah, uh, no, let's just back out and do something else. So I could have just finished this immediately before, but I'm an idiot. And here we are. So this is literally just a dead end with a box. Yep. I'm a big old dumb, dumb, stupid head. Oh, boy. Nope. We immediately focus on big old, big, big tall, stinky McGee. And then we'll come back to the little tiny knights afterward. Tiny knights later. Big old stinky McGee now. We really hit him hard though. This is going to finish him. Fire seven. No, I was wrong. Oh. Alright, well, we, <clears throat> we got him eventually. All right. Hopefully, something's great in this box, like like the the, the greatest thing of all time. Because oh, if it's not, sad times abound. All right, what are we looking at? Hey, the poison axe that we got off of a random drop. Cool. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not bitter. Not mad. Ugh. Nope. I refuse to give that a shot. That just seems terrible and bad in every single sense of the word. Let's not do that. In fact, let's see if we can't flee from everything. Let's just run until we get close to where we were before. It should be fun. You know, we, we've slaughtered, like, at this point, we're, we're so tired of the blood of our... Uh, the blood of our enemies that... Maybe. We'll try Asuna again. I think we tried it already. No. Item. Scroll down to mostly to the bottom. Further than you think. Get that gold needle on. There it is. Alright. Every day we running in and running in. So like we're covered in just like blood, guts, and gore. We're we're lugging hundreds of pounds, if not thousands of pounds, of money around, uh, of gill. So I I mean I feel like we probably should skip some of these battles. It, like we're we're just real tired, you know. Just constant fighting. You know we need we need a chance to kind of revive our uh, our stamina. Just kind of just kind of hang in there a little bit. Dang. Um. Pretty sure it's the bottom one. I'm sure people were yelling. Yeah, it's the bottom one. 
where people were yelling at me when I went to that place. I was like, you know what? Let's go the other way. And I just didn't get the... Uh, uh, I'm kicking myself, folks. But at least I did recognize that we were on the correct path and I had to go back. But I could have done it at the end. Just re-entered the place. It's fine. It's fine. The good news is we're, we're still got a solid amount of money. Er, sorry, mana, not money. And we're, we're okay. Things are fine. Look, I can eat popcorn. Ow. Nom, nom, nom. See? That's a thing I can totally do. All right, so we did this on the inside, but we didn't do it on the outside. All right, so we got to go do that now. I'll fight this. This is a fight I want to take. This is a fight I can guarantee I'll win. Yeah. All right, up and up and okay. You know, we can take this fight too. I think we can kill the wizards real easy and do some damage to the captains too. Not quite fully destroy the captains, but you know, close. And a lot of Osmos, uh, tomes. Uh. Well, I mean, they wanna they wanna send us with the Osmos. We'll we'll take it, I guess. Just in case we somehow don't uh, finish this, let's uh, Osmos now and forever hold our peace. I think we're gonna throw some healing up on our, our folk. Okay, we'll attack you, magic, cure... She's the one that's really the most hurt. Cure 10! Cure X! It cures all that ails you. Okay. We did. I'm like, we did? We did. We did. Monsters? Oh! A green dragon. Now, see, now this is this is my type of battle right here. I'm terrified out of my mind. It's fine. It's probably okay. Uh, berserk, sure. I just attack. Berserk two. All right, Furion. Be protected, and now swing your swords of destiny. Eh, one sword was destiny, maybe. The other one was just kind of dusty, maybe. I'm not real sure. All right, well, look, if you guys suck like that, here. Try having a little bit of haste. Don't worry, with my poison axe, I will slay the enemy, or, whoa, we're guy. Axe hit dragon. Axe, 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 axe. Gotta have, like, the, the axe stuff from uh, Dota 2. Axe. Axe missing. Alright, uh, imagine some cure, I guess we can cure. Oh, there, a little cure here, you know. Yeah, okay, a little, little, little cure here. Alright, it's fine. Cure X. Cure X is up. I mean, we're not doing a lot to the dragon, guys. I, I don't know if you've seen this, but the dragon's not really... Maybe he's poisoned. I don't know. Something just hurt him real bad there. I, I don't. I don't know. You know what? It's probably something to do with one of the weapons I have. By the poison axe I'm hitting him with. He's poisoned. He's not burning. I'm an idiot. It's fine. You guys. Again, you guys can mock me. Like I said, I'm. I'm probably gonna record this entire series before I post a single episode. Uh, at the rate that I'm going, because I'm trying to get this finished up before I go on my my vacation with my lady, with my girl. Ooh, we hit over a thousand with our cure. That was fantastic. Uh, my woman and I are finally going away for our 10th anniversary, which was back in September. Uh, but between our work schedules, we just hadn't been able to really make the time to get away. So we're finally doing it. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So I'll be gone for two nights, two days, day and a half, two and a half days. I, I don't know. It's something. And then, yeah, we'll, then we'll be back. My God, this dragon's still alive. Could you please not be alive anymore, sir? Thank you. Singer, you just gotta ask nicely sometimes. 
Haste leveled up. I like that. Stamina on some HP. Stamina on some HP. And intellect. Cool, cool, cool. And a diamond helmet. Eh. Oh, the wind flute. What the heck is that? That sounds like that's going to be useful. It's a flute that summons a cyclone. Sure it is. I'm sure that it is. Uh, yeah. Let's go through to... This is probably the boss level area. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Oh, it's it's the Emperor. Hey, Emperor Happy Man. Emperor? There was an L in Emperor somehow. Anyway, uh, so you, you've revived the Wyverns, and now... Here you are. Yet, you are but insects. We are not but insects. Thank you very much. Unworthy even of being crushed under my foot. That seems awfully pretentious of you. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. The right... Did, did you see the path that we took to get here? Like, were, were you unaware of the just sheer amount of awesome things we did to get to this point? Did, did you not see any of it? Like, we, we did some pretty impressive stuff to get to where we're at right now, my friend. Your little royal guards here, they're not going to amount to much. In fact, we just murdered them. Didn't even get an extra heal off. I'm a little concerned about that. Did, did you see what we just did? So you've some skill after all. Let's see how you manage against this. Okay. Really, dude? This is literally the same thing we just did, only this time I'll actually get a chance to heal. Uh, yeah, sure. Here you go, Maria. I got you. Or guys, says, Maria be healed. Maria healed. And Furion's like, oh, look how quickly they died to my special weapon attackies. He's so good. He's so good. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, Asuna. Asuna Matata. All right. Um, defend and I guess defend. I, I don't know. I could have probably attacked over the dragoon. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Literally the dream. All right. Bye bye. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, you have a good day. Cure even leveled up. Which is great. We're getting closer, buddy. What are you going to do now? Quite extraordinary. Really. It would appear I've sorely underestimated you. Yeah, yeah. No, you totally did that. You should consider that I am about to do you a great honor. Oh, yeah? I shall kill you personally. Oh. Is that is that what you're going to do? Oh. I'm going to eat another piece of popcorn. I, oh, crap. That's not good. All right. Well, we gotta kill that thing right away. I don't know if you guys know this, but that thing's a big deal. And he puts us to Snooze Land. But we don't like Snooze Land. Snooze Land's not a thing that we enjoy, so fire seven up on him and take him down. Not gonna take him down. That's not good. Oh crap, someone's going to sleep. I don't know how to wake him up. That's really, really bad. Oh cool, barriers to eight. Yep. I think we're in a little bit of trouble. Uh, huh. Throwing some protection up on our boys. Put him down, that's good. Put down a little, little horse righty guy. I have no idea how to wake him up. I might try a unicorn horn on him. Asuna. Well, we could try the unicorn horn, right? Like, got a few of them. Uh, sure. I don't know. See what's gonna happen here. It worked. It woke him up. So stabbing somebody with a unicorn horn is a way of waking them up. That is good to know. See, I was actually unfamiliar with the way to wake people up. That's not what I would have guessed. But hey, not going to complain about it. We got this. Let's zerk up and let's teach uh, old uh, Metal Speedo Man over there uh, a thing or two here. You little baby knight? Not going to work.
I was about to say, what if he does some sort of horrible spell? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. It's fine. Hmm. What's Osmos him? You think he's undead? I don't think he's undead. Shouldn't be undead. He's about to be unalive. He's he's dead. Again, I don't know why I worry about things. The, the big the big wooden golem guy at the start that was much more terrifying than you. In fact, one of our dudes fell asleep, but... Eh. Eh. Sure. Hey, we got our unicorn horn back, too. Well, that was underwhelming. No, I will not die. Oh, yeah? You got a stick of butter on your head? What, what is that? Is that a horn? I, I think he died. It's over. We should get back to Finn. They'll be waiting. You're right. Is the cyclone gonna like disperse, or what? What are we talking here? Oh, I, I, we don't even get to see it. Sweet. I think we might have beaten the game, but probably not knowing how these things work. Through your efforts, we finally defeated the Emperor. Thank you. You're welcome. The world was shrouded darkness. The world was shrouded darkness, but now the light of peace shines once more. Furion, Maria, Guy, Ricard. What more could we ask? Where is Leon? The tales of your bravery will be handed down for generations. Now, let us celebrate. Many have come hoping to catch a glimpse of the heroes who brought down the Emperor. I wouldn't want to disappoint them. I, I don't... Like, like seriously, where is Leon? I, I'm... It, it's... It's bother... Oh, we're dancing. Oh, okay. It, it, it is physically bothering me, though. Where's Guy? Guy should be dancing. I mean, like, I'm cool that we dancing with Maria and all, but uh, Layla's over there. She's looking kind of lonely. I mean, Guy could be hooking up with her, you know, doing a little bit of dancing. I know Guy's, you know, maybe a little uncultured, but I think he could, he could swing it. All right. Well, we get a little, a little, uh, a little dance. I like it. Is this what's known as a victory dance? Uh-oh. My lords and ladies, the Dark Knight Leon has declared... What? What did you just say to me? The Dark Knight Leon has declared himself emperor. You son of a... He's reorganized the Palamecian Empire. He'll send troops. He'll, he'll slaughter us all. <laughs> did you just say the Dark Knight Leon? It can't be, Leon. Seriously, this whole time. All right, I got, I got. They swerved me on that one. I should have seen it coming. I should have definitely seen it coming. I did not. Dang it! The Dark Knight went and claimed the throne for for himself. For himself, I love it. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not real happy. Leon, the Dark Knight, do you really think you can fight Maria's brother? This is our battle. You have to let us finish it. I had a feeling you'd say that. Just make sure you come back. Where am I going? Leon, the Dark Knight? But I thought he was your friend, your brother. I'll go to him. I'll, I'll make him understand. He must be under the spell of the Emperor. I know it! He's ascended the Emperor's throne. There's only one place he can be, Palamecia. Uh-huh. Castle Palamecia is a fortress situated high in the mountains. It cannot be approached on foot. Ch sure. So, airship or wyverns? Hold on. Ugh. <sighs> Nope. Okay. Talk to me. Leon yeah, the Dark Knight. It's our battle. We'll finish it. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, it's an impregnable fortress. Luckily, Paul doesn't know the meaning of the word. I've heard him bragging about breaking in. Oh, stress. This whole time. I bet you guys have mocked me from day one. You know what? Good, good on you if you guys knew this was coming and... 
and you didn't know about it in the future. I like, or like you, you already knew about it from having played it before. Like, good on you all. I like, I should have totally seen the swerve coming. I don't know why I didn't. I've been waiting for his stupid butt to show up. Wait, Sid's here? Hey, Sid. That cyclone really did a, a number on me back in Paloom. Ah, my body isn't taken too kindly to the idea of moving around. Going to bed, bud? Sid, Sid okay? I'm a mess is what I am. But my airship made it through without a scratch. I want to lend it to you. Yeah, baby. That's lend you here. I'll be wanting her back. You take good care of her. Sid. Sid, no. Oh, hold on. Did he die? What? Dude, we're the worst heroes of all time. So many people have died. We're so bad at our jobs. That was Sid's dying wish, you know. What? He knew he was dying, but he was ready. He planned on giving you the airship when, this, when his time came. He loved that ship with all his heart, and he entrusted it to you. Think about that. Whatever, man. Don't make me feel worse. Uh, like I said, we're the worst heroes of all time. The time I snuck into the castle, I used a kite to land on the roof. The only way in is from above, from the sky. If there was ever a time to use Sid's final gift to you, I'd say this was it, wouldn't you? I guess. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Do we know where the airship is? Oh my god, everyone's dying. And 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 our missing fourth member is the 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 big bad. Like what? What is even happening? Oh, I don't I don't understand any of this. I mean, I do. I understand all of it. But like I, I just, come on, man. They they got me. They swerved me. Good, good on them. All right, we, we got to fix this magic problem here. Oh, Maria. I don't... I don't... I don't even know what to do with you here. Uh, all right, girl. Let's forget Drain. Uh, can we forget something else, too? Like, let's get rid of Berserk on you, okay? Let's go into items. You're gonna learn the ultimate tome, yep. And you're gonna learn the flare, because you are the magic caster. That's pretty much all I got to say about it. What a we alright, where's the airship? Uh what's happened? Of course it's over there. It's fine. Fine, we can get there. Not a big deal. Just gotta take our regular ship over to the airship and then never use our regular ship again, maybe. Ugh. No, I mm, changed my mind. I, I wanted to. Well, I, mm, no, we hit too hard. I want to start building up our magic of our new uh, spells. So all things considered, like I said, I, I don't love the idea of how they went about doing the the level up system. It's not transparent enough. Like I, like I said, I don't truly understand exactly what I'm doing. And I think to me, that's the biggest problem with it. I don't know, we'll try it. Um, however, I, I like that they tried something different. Like I, I like the idea of this, but I feel like if it was more of a, oh, not bad damage. If it was more of a, you use, kind of like how the, the magic spells work here, right? You use a magic spell, you get a chunk of experience. If you used a sword and you got a chunk of experience every time, I'd be fine with it. But this weird, you have to hit so many times or it has to be worth so much experience or whatever the exact formula is that it uses, it's, it's weird. It's real weird. I, I don't, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Uh, like, I, I don't know what they were thinking. Like, I just, I just don't know. Well, we'll hit some Ultima shots and we'll eventually maybe level it up. Maybe we won't. Single target. Eh. I wonder how much we got on the Ultima shot. I don't know. Like I said, uh, 
it, it's not like the worst thing ever, but like they, they overcomplicated it, I guess. If they just made it like they did with the spells, the spell thing makes 100% sense to me. I love the way they did it. You start off, your spell's weak, it costs one mana. As it gets stronger, it costs more mana. I think that's a brilliant way of doing it. The more you use it, the more you get it. Like the higher the level the skill is and everything else. I think it's a fantastic method of doing things. And it really makes you have to tailor specific spells. Like, you're probably not going to level up Fire, Lightning, and all the stuff, you know, Fire, Thunder, and all the stuff. You're probably going to have to choose one of those that you're going to really focus on and use. And I think that's really cool. And sure, you can level up some of the others in, like, certain scenarios, but they're probably not going to be as high of a level as, like, your go-to spell. I think that's great. And I just kind of wish how the weapons worked. And I realized we do a lot of auto-attacking, right? So, like, I get it. They wanted to make sure that you weren't just auto-attacking all the way through and you just got to, like, level 1,000 or whatever it is your, your skill would be if it just gained a chunk of... Like, I get it, but, man, I, I'm not a massive fan of how this all kind of played out. There's a lot of landmass here that I just... Like, why? Like, there's nothing in this big desert. It's just a big desert here. There, there was no thing here. I'm real happy for the airship, by the way. So, like, yeah, we're going to go over here and we're going to do this eventually. Um, oh, we can disembark in the desert in this game, which is cool. I thought that was kind of ridiculously stupid that you couldn't disembark in many places in Final Fantasy 1. But, again, I do understand why they did it to make sure you couldn't just kind of cheese the game all the way through. Like, I, I get it. The, the complaints I have are very small. You can't land in the swamp. Okay, I kind of get that too. Makes sense. Can't land on a mountain or a forest. Again, kind of makes sense. But on the desert? That one I didn't get. The desert one was always like, what? What you mean we can't land on the desert? Is there something special in this area? Yeah, okay, there was that. We haven't been up here in a long time. Interesting. Uh, anyway, sorry. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, I know we're about out of time for the episode anyway. I'm just going to fly around. I just want to kind of look around and explore stuff. It's crazy to me to see, like, actual towns that we visited and done things with actually destroy. Like, story-wise, they've done a fantastic job. Like massive improvement from the first game like I, I get why the series really started to take off uh, story wise a bit underwhelmed from the first Final Fantasy it wasn't bad it was just pretty by the books and again I understand it's old like really old and you know it was kind of a, a, a last ditch effort to really make a game stick and it was kind of a first uh, attempt at something too right it was like the first of a game so I get it. There, there's going to be some growing pains and so on and so forth. Like, I, I totally understand. I get it. There's just so much land that's just not used. Just awful places to get stuck in that you don't want to do anything with. I'm just looking to see if there's any, like, random towns or anything that I missed. Hopefully you guys don't mind me doing this while I kind of share some of my thoughts with you right here in the game. Uh, like I said, they got me. they uh, been waiting the whole time for Leon. Leon, you know what? I'm, I'm actually super happy that I'm like recording this entire thing without posting anything because I'm almost 100% sure someone would have spoiled this for me and I'm very glad that they didn't. Um, in, in the future, in the uh, like additional episodes and uh, other Final Fantasies that I do, please don't spoil stuff for me if you can help it. Because, uh, like I said, this was really cool. I, I mean, caught me off guard. D did not appreciate being... Uh, trolled into oblivion here but you know what here we are here we are all right you know what i'm gonna do uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna dive in it's fine we're just gonna land here and then we're gonna break out the episode all right here we are castle palamecia the seventh floor which means there's probably six other floors and some flip-flopping up down back and forth stuff that we're gonna be doing but hey we're here for it and yeah all anyway, right that's it for this episode until the very next one I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.